Uh, Coach, thank you yes. so much for giving me the time. Uh, my question was going to be talking about you're going into this weekend against Columbus Crew two, uh, yeah. you know, a team that's been in two straight league finals. Then you're going against a team that pretty much uh, has been well documented how good they are. Uh, then you're going to go into the Open Cup next week against a team that, to be perfectly honest, no one knows what kind of team they can bring. Can you talk about the challenges that you're that you guys are facing with that? No, first of all, we know exactly what Columbus is. You know, we know they are a good team. They have been on two finals, two years consecutive. But uh, the most important, I said it from the beginning, for us, we just have to think about us more, what exactly we do in the week, and then we see what games is going to give us. We know what challenge we're going to face. We know this is the first game of the season, and uh, it's going to be difficult, but it's, it's most of us. I think what we do is going to show exactly what we have to do, and this is what we think. We think more of us and trying to play our style of play. And something else, uh, I'm curious, can you talk about what it's uh, going into the Open Cup? I asked your co I asked uh, head coach uh, Sandro earlier mm -hmm. today about the discussions the organizations had about sending down players from the first team to help during the Open Cup because you guys can have a maximum of seven. Uh, what kind of, what have those conversations been like? I know you that the first team still has to play Columbus, the first, uh, the first Columbus team this weekend. What have those conversations been like, and how easily do you think you can take some of the first team guys and put them into your squad if that happens? Yeah, it's it's not easy. I think the guys who are coming down, we already know those those are the guys. Some they already train with us. Some they're gonna be already playing with our first game. But the most important for now, we discussed about it, but we are looking into our first game and then we see what is going to happen on the next game coming but this is uh, the this is going to be so so important for the guys this is a new experience for them is a cup which we know is so important in the in the football of us and the, everyone takes it serious it's not just because we're going to play that the, the 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 opening cup but the most important the guys who are getting chances to demonstrate themselves uh, Dan, you can ask a question now. All right. Coach, welcome back for another season. Um, mm -hmm. Just talk about what you did this off season and, and how you kind of regenerated going coming into this new season. Yeah, <clears throat> I think we started well. The guys, they came back. I think our preseason was good. We played some games, and I think we are ready to start our first game with Columbus, having some new guys coming in and then to try to prepare the team from last year and add on a little bit of... Uh, players into that but uh, we know now the most important we are focusing on we are focusing on Columbus this is our first game of the league um this preseason uh you got a promotion to assistant coach for for the first team as well just talk about how how that role has uh, helped you as a head coach for the second team now that you're going to be on Sandro Schwartz uh coaching staff yeah that's is for me that's who that was an honor for me to hear that and to give me that responsibility I think this is the things which everyone they see your value and bring in Sandro into our our club and the, I'm going to be with him closer. This is the most important. I think learning from him and then translate it to, to our second team is going to be huge. Uh, a lot of players that you had from last season are still going to be here. Key players like Ibrahim Kasule, Frank Sabuku and other players like that. And you're also going to bring in a couple of new players as well. Just talk about the cohesiveness that you can bring from last season into this year and start off uh, hot. Yeah, we, we talked about that after the league and then we sit down so that we can stay with the core of the team. To stay with some of the players and you bring in new, this is helping you to, to develop what you want next. But I think the most important is what we teach them and see the players, how they develop to go into the first team. Uh, Bento Estrella is going to be a critical player for, for this team in midfield. What, what type of role do you see for him in midfield and how can he kind of build off what he did last year in his first full pro season and kind of build off that going and try to get into the first team. Yeah, I think Bento last year was a key player for us. I think this is what is going to be the next step for him. Overall, we have some players into those that midfielder which is going to be competing. I think everyone gets a chance. He has to use it. And this is, I think, the big year for Bento also to show himself he can take another step 
to join into the first team. He had a, he had a chance to be into the preseason, the first preseason. This is huge for him, and it's gonna be interesting with the guys around him who is gonna be starting to play. Uh, Rebel Two were able to bring in uh, Jair from from Ecuador as a as a defender yourself. Just talk about what you've seen from him so far, and and what kind of potential could he have going forward. Yeah, yeah, we we started him. We seen him. He's a guy with which we see is gonna develop a lot from our side, and he's he's good with the ball, and also his aggressiveness. This is what we want, and also his height is gonna be helping us a lot into our defender defensive part. I think this is a player we started, and he's gonna add a lot of energy into our back line. Um, in gold this year, you're gonna have a, a couple of younger younger guys, and Allen and Aiden, just talk about what you've seen from them this preseason as they start getting their, their feet more and more in the pro game, and just what kind of, what, what can you help them with with your defensive setup to kind of mitigate they don't see too many shots in a game or they don't get too overwhelmed? Yeah, you talked about those young players, but I think they are experienced now. They are in the environment of profession and we're gonna try to build from that. I think they are working around our goalkeeper coaches we have. I think they are good goalkeeper coaches which are developing them properly. We see them, this is their year where they have to learn. We know they are young players, they will make mistake, but every mistake they make, we learn from that. And Aiden, Alan, those are two good goalkeepers which we feel like they will learn into this league a lot and, and we see them with the potential to be able to, to do well into the league. And then lastly, for me, we look in the attack. Obviously, Frank Sabufo will be back leading the line. You also have Julian Hall going to be with the second team a lot. And then also, Roald Mitchell joins the team from, from the first team, signing from Wake Forest. Just talk about your, your forward core and what, what can you see going forward? What, will we see what you guys ran a lot last year with the 4 2 3 1? Or could we see a more 4, trip, uh, four 2 2 2 uh, with two strikers up top? No, I think when you see our type of players now we have in front, we have Mitchell, we have Julian, we have Frank. I think this is a position which is, we, we, we last last year it was a little bit of difficulty. Junior Hall was a young player who was coming from the, the, the college. He was just not playing a lot of games, but now we feel like we have players into that position which is going to help us. Yeah, it's going to be, it's, it's hard to say like we're going to play this position, this system on this this system. I think we have two systems in the head which is going to help us. It depends about the players you have the day and the way how we train and also the opponents we're going to face. Thank you very much. Perfect. Cool. Anything else, Mike? It's all good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Mike is on or yeah, no? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I forgot I was, I forgot I was muted. Uh, yeah, just one more thing, cool. uh, if you don't mind. Uh, going back to what you said about the Open Cup, how it's going to give these younger guys more opportunities. Do you feel that going into Wednesday's game, your starting 11 is going to look a lot like a normal MLS Next Pro starting 11? Or do you think that this is the opportunity to give the players off the bench uh, a starting time, like a starting role? What do you, how do you see that uh, happening? No, uh, this is too, too early to, to talk about that because now all of us, we're just focusing about the game on Sunday. I think on Wednesday it's gonna depend on how the player played on Sunday and which type of players we have. You know, we don't know what's gonna happen on Sunday. If you have some injuries, it's hard to plan what is gonna happen on Wednesday. But I think we will look into it after the game on Sunday and then we know which type of players we have who will be able to play on Wednesday. Got it. Thank you. No, no problem. Thanks, Ebert. Yep.